A very common question that people ask when they're shopping around for lightsabers is how bright is the blade? Everybody wants to have a blade that's bright enough. So let's talk about some of the factors to consider before purchasing a lightsaber and how you can find out if you have a bright enough blade. So first of all, let's talk about wattage. Wattage is commonly posted on a lot of lightsaber sites, but wattage is highly misleading. So it's wattage is just a measurement of energy. It's not really a good indicator of brightness. And if you want a better indicator of brightness, you would look at the lumen rating. Unfortunately, not a lot of the saber companies seem to be posting that. Maybe more of them will in the future. And if you ask them about it, they may be able to point you to the lumen rating for the specific LED color that you're looking at. So yeah, you can look at that. But the main thing there is see if you can find out the lumen rating for your LEDs to get a better sense of the brightness. Another thing you think about is, well, battery charge will affect your brightness as well. That maybe should be obvious, but I have a good demonstration of that right here. So these sabers both have the same LED color, although you wouldn't know it. So the one on the right is so dim right now, it really needs some fresh batteries. And the one on the left has relatively fresh batteries. And see, it is still on. The one on the right is still on, but uh, that's something to look at. So if your plate's getting dim, replace the batteries or charge the saber and that'll help you out. Another thing to look at is the length of the blade. So if you have a shorter length blade, like this is a 24 inch blade, it's one of the shorter lengths that you would commonly get and that'll give you a brighter blade rather than a longer blade like say a 32 or a 36 inch blade. Another thing to look at is the thickness of the blade. So sometimes saber companies will sell either a kind of thin walled or a thicker walled blade. So the thin one is here, thicker walled one is here. It's also called by ultra sabers mid grade and heavy grade blades. So the heavy grade blade is thicker, but it's also a little dimmer. So it may not come across as well in the video, but that is one of the downsides of the heavy grade blades. Oh, okay. <laughs> and now, okay, the brightness for something like a white LED may be a little bit more important to you if you're planning on using color discs or leaf filters to kind of change the color of the blade. So I just put a leaf filter in there and um, it's just a lot, um, you'll notice the difference much more when you're using color discs or leaf filters than maybe you would notice with just kind of the LED. So I'd recommend, especially if you're going with Ultra Sabers, get the brighter Tri-Cree um, Adigan Silver rather than just the standard. It'll give you a nicer color. Although the one I'm showing here is actually <laughs> the not, this is just the um, ring, uh, regular um, add again silver, so it's not the kind of brighter one. Okay, also, um, if I can get this out. So here is a flat acrylic blade. This is made by Ripper Blades. And the reason Ripper Blades uses flat acrylic blades is so the light is distributed better throughout the blade. And they use acrylic instead of polycarbonate like the rest of these blades are. So in the future, maybe they'll do some, they'll do some more polycarbonate. And uh, one of the biggest problems of acrylic is it's a lot more uh, fragile than polycarbonate. So these flat blades that are made out of acrylic are not um, dueling grade. Um, so they're just kind of decorative or for spinning around. But if you did have a polycarbonate version of this, the light wouldn't kind of travel throughout the blade as well. So if you're ever wondering why that's the case, that's why. <laughs> so I think that's ma mainly what I wanted to talk about. Um, feel free to add any additional comments about blade brightness. I'd love to hear from you, but main takeaway if you if you learn one thing from this video, it's not it's to not rely on the wattage and look for the lumen rating of the LED whenever possible.
because that'll give you a much better sense of the brightness of your saber.